My name is Jay Moore, and this is the uh, stakeholder analysis of Stockholm Street, University of Greenwich. Uh, the aim, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to introduce the stakeholders involved, and they're going to prioritise these stakeholders and establish some communication strategies between them. So, a quick definition. Uh, a stakeholder is pretty much a party that has any interest uh, in an enterprise or project. Uh, this is a list of stakeholders within the Stockholm Street at all stages of the project. So this is just everyone uh, at all stages. Then what I did was I broke them down to the deliver and dwell stage um, and to the internal and external. I uh, grouped them up. So we have, here, we have client demands, the University of Greenwich, uh, the board of directors, the school deans, the, the client themselves. The funding bodies is the University of Greenwich themselves with a £76 million investment. Regulatory personnel, be the health and safety staff, security officers, end users employees. Two types of end users, we have end users employees, the academics, the researchers, your library staff, uh, security, facilities management employees, so the people who work in the coffee shop, the cleaners. And then we have the end users, uh, the students and the general public. So we have the proposed, the current and the past uh, students and the alumni and the general public themselves that will be using the shop frontage or the retail shops. Client supply, the project managers. We have two project managers. We've got the project manager for the University of Greenwich who deals with all the user groups, um, and the University of Greenwich design team, and we have the project manager, contract administrator, who deals with the project team and deals directly with the contractor. The architect involved is a uh, Peng Peng, the main contractor is Osborne, subcontractor. At this stage, uh, Shepherd Engineering Services is the internal fit out, so they're the people still here at the deliver and dwell stage. There was uh, two others, but they're not um, needed for this stage anymore. And the suppliers of materials, so the internal fit out materials. So there are external stakeholders. So legislative, regulatory bodies, so building regulations, CDM regulations, health and safety, uh, local government. So the local authority, the Royal Borough of Greenwich, and the Greater London Authority. Statutory undertakers, so that's the local authority for uh, wanting to do um, renovation work maybe on the sidewalks of the road out, out the front of Stockwell Street. They have a statutory undertaker to, to do that because that's theirs. Private third parties, neighbours, Network Rail is directly to the site. Uh, there's been a few issues with them, and that's all sorted now, uh, but they are the key neighbour next door. Conservationists, Greenwich Park and Friends of Greenwich Park. Um, the site obviously is quite close to the park, so it's got to be um, sort of in keeping. And there's also listed buildings round to the back of the site, so that then also has to all be in keeping as well. So conservationists are going to be one of our stakeholders still at this point. What we need to do is uh, prioritise our stakeholders using uh, Mendelo's power interest matrix. So it basically puts the power that the uh, stakeholder might have against the interest and then it comes out the impact they could have. So if they have a low power and a low interest, it will take minimal effort to keep them happy because they can't really do much about it. So if I um, don't quite please them, they haven't got the power or the interest to actually do something about it and impact the project in a negative way. Uh, we then have high interest, uh, low power, keep them informed. They've got the interest um, to do something about it. So if they are upset and you then uh, don't keep them that happy or keep them informed, they will go to someone and they will put in the hours because they're interested that much to get something done about it. Uh, C, keep satisfied with a high power and low level interest. 
we want to keep these people happy and low risk because they've got the power to do something. If they um, are made unhappy, suddenly their interest might kick up a bit and then you've got a bit more of a problem. And definitely here, key players, high and high, you want to keep these guys happy because they've got the interest, they're there, they're covered, and they've got the power to really impact the business or the organisation or the project in a negative way.